Hello everyone. Just received this package from a repair shop, and there is two iPhones XR. The technician said he couldn't get them to uh, restore. They stuck at the disabled. So maybe he has uh, something wrong with his iTunes, or maybe he couldn't uh, get them to to recovery mode. Yeah, I put them in a uh, DFU mode and I restore them in a normal way with the three U tools and they are ready uh, restored. And this one is just this one here I have no idea what's wrong with it because he didn't uh, tell me nothing about this phone so I text him uh, this morning and they still uh, didn't get he didn't get back to me about what's going on with this phone. Yeah, this phone is ready. Yeah, I did see that he put a new screen. And maybe no power. Or no display. But I need a little information. To help me go see what's wrong with it. Because I don't want to go try to fix the power. But... But the problem is the the screen or something else, so, you know. And this iPad, this is a A2603. This is the 9 Gen iPad, and it's look like the screen is being uh, replaced. You can see it's easy to remove. This is what we're going to work on. I hear the iPad making sound. So let me see if you can hear it. Like it's this camera here. Anyway, the iPad is taking about four hundred, five hundred milliamp. So I hear the iPad is on. Yes, could be like uh, no backlight or no display. Yeah, is no no backlight. Let's see if you can see it with this camera here. Here, you see the keyboard. Oh, so there is. There is a picture, but there is no backlight. Maybe he did try to replace the screen on the iPad is uh, the backlight burn it because he didn't remove the battery. But yeah, let's check the, the board and see what's going on. Let's go to the microscope and we'll look closely to the iPad. See. So let's see if we can see anything burn it. Like as a fuse or 
filter or any damage on the LCD connector the one is here see some uh, fuses this one's the gray one this one and this one is a fuse and uh, this one's here that's a capacitor this one's here a capacitor capacitor here and this is a fuse this is a fuse so I think the backlight connector is the backlight pins is here this side so this this one is good This one is good. This one is good. This one is not good. So let's see in the, the ZXW. Let's try this one here. It looks the same. So this one is a filter. Now you can see these big traces here. That's for the, the backlight to carry the high voltage. This one here. This is a filter here, the one that we test. But this one it shows as a capacitor. I don't get it. You see, there is a side ground, and this side is connected to something. Next point is in this chip. This chip here. But the backlight, I think, is somewhere here around these coils. So this side here, and this side here. This is a capacitor's filter. I'm going to test them for the search. The test is diode. these coils, these two coils if they are open. Yeah. There is two sides of the the backlight. So one coil is half backlight, the other coil is a half backlight. I try to get it a little bit so we can have the two window at the same time like this. Yeah, you see this one? It doesn't look like a capacitor. The color of it is gray. Is the other side ground? Yeah, the other side is ground. And even doesn't look like a resistor. Because to tell the difference, you see this is a resistor here. This is a capacitor. Yeah, the color for it is so here you can see the color this one is a capacitor you see how the color of it these two here is a capacitor this one is a gray is no black the black is a resistor that one is a resistor this one is a little bit brown this one is gray. Yeah, all this here, 
these capacitors. Here you can see both of them are the same. Here is two capacitors and one filter is gray. Here this one gray. Anyway, let's let's look at the other side, see if anything shorts it. So we have that uh, we have these two big coils, this one here and this one here. We have these two diodes and we have some capacitors here. So let's check the capacitors. I'm just going to check for search the capacitors and the diode and we check for the the open and the coil so no short in the diodes no short here no short here how are we going to check the coil so let's see Okay, this side of the diode is go to this side of the coil and we have some capacitors here we can check on them. So from here to this side of the diode, the bottom side of the diode. So from the bottom side of the diode, the one is here to here. So this coil is good, there is a connection wire and it's still good. Then this one here, so this side of the capacitor to this, this side of the diode to the same side of the capacitors. So this side of the diode to the same side that's with this that coil is good there is the connection anything short to the ground here hmm. okay. no this is our that's the ground side of the capacity. So, yeah, there is nothing now. I don't see no burner diode. This is the two sides of the backlight. Both filters are good. The only thing that makes no sense is this piece here. So, let's change it. Uh, so, we have no other change. Thanks to Charlie. I'm going to replace that one and see if it's uh, going to work. Yeah, I did have one like this uh, problem before in the touch. It showed in the schematic as a capacitor. And I replace it with the fuse and the touch work. So let's put this one for the battery to... Yeah, this is completely gray. It's not capacitor at all. But the problem is tested as short to the ground. So I find something here in this board that matching that size. You can see this one here. It's kind of the same size as this one. There is two here, so I'm just need one.
Bush and the Virgin. And press the power button. We replace this filter. And this IC burn it. This one here. You can see it's burn it. So let's check the backlight diodes. This one is shirted. This one is this okay? So the capacitor is here tested shirted. This one shirted as well. So we are gonna remove that chip and we see if we still have the shirt around over there. There is another uh, another thing maybe that's what happened could be the screen the customer sent is a defective screen and that's why it's burned the filter the first time but when we replace the filter and we connect to the screen the chip get the, the head so let's uh, remove that IC and we go from there. Okay, I remove the IC and I move the diode. And I move it. It's capacitor of two. Alright, good now. You see some internal shirt here and here. See this bed is just sitting over there. Change the chip. You finish all your work? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many left? Huh? Okay, jump to this one and try that one first. Let's get the solder iron a little bit up, so it's about like 700 degree. Because this chip is kind of you can see it's still not uh, melting right. Uh, we get the old solder, like mix it with the new one. Check the video to see if there is any missing component here. But before that, let's check if we still have a shirt. We don't have shirt here anymore. This one's here, they were testing shirt. It. That's good. This one here, they were tested search it. This one. All right. Just we have to take care of that solder bridge here. The one 
one is here and the one is here or the ground like this pad here and this pad here both of them are the ground so I think they are uh, internally connected in the chip let's see I don't think I need to do any jumper over there and that pad is is like was broken because the heat from the chip when it was hmm, where is it it's here I think the chip it was like this way if I do remember so that's the number eight chip it was like this way I just checked the video you can see how the chip it was burning so we have These two here are not ground, but these two here are ground. Let's see. So these two pits are connected internally in the ship. No need to jump for that one. The next one is, is right here. This one. This is a ground, this is a ground, this is a ground, this is a ground. So no need for to make the jumper. Lucky us. No short, no short. That's the first chip was burned. I replace it. Then when I plug the screen, I turn the iPad on. This one here burned. I thought maybe is the the screen, and they found another cracked screen here that has a good backlight. So I install that screen, backlight, I see burn it. So I, I did check the diodes, but I'm not sure. So here I already, uh, in this one I already replaced the chip. Yeah, the chip is not burnt yet. And uh, so let's go to these diodes. So be sure that the battery is unplugged. So here we have I don't see no reading this way. This one has one volt this way. And you can see the diodes is facing each other. So if I flip, so normal it should be like one diode is gonna give me a reading, the other diode is not gonna be give me the reading. So if I flip, 
this one will give the reading this one is not right here so this one still no reading both way this one that is a strange reading or still no reading Here, no reading or one volt that's not uh, normal the diode it should be like 0 0.7 to 0 0.1 one way so here I'm gonna flip so these two diodes the test bed so let's uh, take them and replace them there is ender fail on this chip here the power the big power IC manager so it's better you coverage this chip doesn't like the heat same as the CPU let's turn on the hot tweezer Test this diodes here. So it's open this way, or you can see it is a 2.5, 2.6, and if we flip, open. That's not normal. Or 2.6, both way. So we find the problem. This one here is open and we flip. Yeah, both of them tested open or tested a high uh, resistance. So this diode is a V3 or 3V. took this diode from another uh, board and this diode is a GH and both of them is the same specs as the, the other diodes We have one diode facing this way. The other diode is this way. So let's put some flux. So the flux is going to help the diode to stay in the place when you put the ear, the hot ear, the diode is not going to fly away. Well, let's use just the hot ear with this one. This one is melted. This one is melted too. So the big uh, power IC is still good. I don't see no uh, squeeze uh, solder balls around it. Right. So we just clean that one. So 
wait for each other to cool down then we put a screen yeah I'm not gonna put the other screen that the customer sent because if that one has a bad backlight it's gonna burn the IC it's gonna burn the diode and we keep going in that loop I did remove the the filter that I put by the connector I did remove that one so that's one is not a filter or if it is a filter I don't know why it's connected to the ground so I did remove that and uh, keep it uh, just like that Let me see if I press on the battery, does the chip burn it? No. Yeah, the chip didn't burn. So let me press the power button. yep 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 we got the display yeah we have the backlight this uh, screen that I do have here it has a crack here so I don't care about the crack I just say you want to see a part of the display plus the backlight yeah the iPad works all right yeah that's what was the problem that diodes was bad I see maybe it was bad and they keep in that loop I keep replacing the IC and this keep burning but the problem was a bad diode so the, here is where it was the that's uh, that what I was thinking is a filter, but it's not. So you don't have if this one tested open for you or for you, you don't have to replace it. Just uh, go look for these filters here. There is this one and this one. This is two cathodes. Cathode number one, cathode number two is here, and we have the anode is going to this capacitor the anode is going to this capacitor and you check if you have any search in this capacitors here or even here check these two diodes and the uh, backlight IC but well, sometimes is an open coil but it's yeah it's yeah, most of time is not the coin. So this is all you can check to make the backlight uh, work. If you have uh, have backlight, it could be one of the diodes code. So I got uh, this iPad to work. I'm just uh, the customer said he's gonna he's gonna mail me the another screen to put the iPad uh, together. I'm still waiting for it, but we are sure the backlight it works. This is all uh, for this video. Please subscribe to help the channel. Yeah, and, uh, we'll keep uh, posting uh, more videos, sharing uh, the repairs. And uh, see you again.